That pivotal day in the Michael Jackson trial, the judge in this case is set to make a ruling today if prosecutors can bring up previous child molestation allegations against Michael Jackson. One court observer calls these allegations the prosecution's nuclear bomb. NBC's Mike Taibbi has more. Michael Jackson paid millions in two settlements to a 1990 accuser, the son of a Neverland maid, whose claim that the singer fondled him over his clothing never resulted in a prosecution, and to a teen in 1993 who declined to testify in a criminal case after he received a settlement from Jackson of more than $15 million. To those allegations, as in the current case, Jackson insists he was absolutely innocent. None of these stories are true. They're totally fabricated, and it's very sad, and it's very, very painful. But prosecutors want to use the California law, which allows witnesses and evidence from past uncharged, unproven allegations. Basically show Michael Jackson to be a serial child molester. But Judge Rodney Melville made it clear before the Jackson trial started he would not allow prosecutors to save a weak case against the pop star by admitting old evidence. The author of the law allowing such evidence says helping prosecutors try difficult child sex abuse cases is risky. The worst nightmare scenario is that evidence comes in against somebody who is innocent of uh, both the, the prior allegations and the current offense and then they end up being convicted. Most Jackson trial observers believe that some of the evidence will be admitted, especially from the two cases Jackson paid to settle. I think it's important that at least one of the two boys testify. In the trial now underway, the accuser and his brother and sister have all been shown to have changed their stories and have each admitted to lying about some things. That's why the judge's decision on whether to admit any past evidence could be the turning point in this trial. For today, Mike Taibbi, NBC News, Santa Maria.